we all know at the end of the day, Rob, that there's no choice normally between let's run it back with our MVP quarterback or let's go into a season with a guy we have no idea who yeah. when his huggies are going to drop, you know, week one or like <laughs> or like Mahomes or or like week yeah. eight, week 10, week 12, like every other first year quarterback. And that totally flushes a, a Super Bowl potential run down the toilet. So what what is the latest on what you're hearing about the the conversation? Are, are they having conversations? Best you can tell the, the, the as best I can tell. Um, the Packers are, if, if not checking in directly with Rodgers, at least in touch with his representatives on a semi-regular basis. But I also think that they're of the belief that, you know, we just need to basically wait till training camp rolls around and, and hope he realizes, A, how much we want him here, B, how much his teammates want him and need him, and C, how much Rodgers might miss football if we hold firm in our stance that we are not trading him, which they continue to say, uh, and that, that he will you know, eventually say, well, I've got no choice but to, to try again here and, and make at least one more run at it. And, and that, in that sense, it's almost like the ball is in Rodgers' court. Everyone wants to know what the Packers are going to do. Well, at this point, I mean, I don't know what more they can do. They have offered him a contract extension. Um, they have tried to address some of his concerns. Um, obviously not to his liking at this point, because if it was, then we wouldn't be having this conversation. We'd, we'd be watching Aaron Rodgers right now in minicamp and not uh, number 10 Jordan Love in the red jersey. So um, I do think they, they are of the hope and the belief that at some point between now and September 12th when they play at New Orleans to start the season, and preferably much before that, that they will have Aaron Rodgers back here. But from the perspective of Rodgers, I have not heard anything to suggest that he has changed his stance. Now, I know James Jones, uh, his, his good friend and former teammate, made some comments yesterday that said he believes, uh, something I'm paraphrasing, but believes that it can be resolved and will be resolved. That may be true, uh, but that is not what I have been told, and that is not what most of us that cover the team on a daily basis and from a national perspective have been told. We, are, we have been told that he is still – dug in and nothing has changed well i mean the 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 question is is the contract that's been put there and this is the one thing that i haven't been able to determine uh were the terms of that contract that has been offered to aaron Rodgers long enough and steep yeah. heavy enough on a, on a on a financial commitment to yes. to be interpreted that jordan love does not get on the field as long as aaron right. Rodgers is is still the starting quarterback there and that's right? i think ultimately what he was looking for initially and I'm talking when I say initially, I'm talking like right after the season, right. you know, uh, January, February. Uh, that's what he was looking for then, and that was not offered to him at that point. Um, just a simple restructure was offered at that point, which then, you know, in some ways continued. I, I won't say put this in motion because I think it was in motion before that, right? But continued th- this in motion, and by the time they got around to offering him something, maybe a little bit more, um, you know, I, I got the sense that it was almost too late. Um, or at least to this point, it's been too little too late. So um, whether that changes, you know, between now and and those dates we talked about, uh, you know, I guess we just have to wait and see. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.